So Kenny, last time out, it was a 3-1 win against Bristol Rovers. A very pleasing performance, no doubt. Yeah, it was a great win and, you know, ruthless were the goals. And, you know, we did capitalise on a little bit of uncertainty in their ground as well, definitely, because, you know, the crowd weren't quite sure you know, where to go with the team. And, and as I said, we did capitalise on that. We're ruthless with the goals. Uh, and, and after that, I sort of saw the game out. The game just died a little bit second half with ourselves in such a good position. That suited us as well. Uh, the crowd really did get behind the players. You know, the away support was, was excellent there at Bristol. And it's good to produce a win for them. And, and, you know, the scenes at the end where, you know, the crowd are sort of clapping the players and the, and the players reciprocating is really good to see. And Harry Smith, Aaron Drennan and Theo Archibald have all scored in back-to-back -back games. The front three have been in fine form recently. Yeah, they have and, you know, got off to a good start to the season, which always helps. Um, we've got other forwards behind that as well. You know, Raul Satorio got, a, I thought, a fantastic goal at Bradford, a key one, really, in a, in a tight game and has shown, you know, I think a lot of ability. We have Therese, Therese Amatu, you know, we have Don Nakaruma and, and also... You know, Paul Smith at some stage to come back, so we have to look a little bit deeper. Dan Kem can play in certainly the left position, and, and we have to look wider and deeper for, for the season as well. And past these three, who, who, as you say, are in good form and started the season well. And the three points took us into those automatic promotion places. We'll be keen to stay there. Yeah, but, you know, for us, we want to be producing a team and, and making sure that the team is right in its performances. Um, you know, we, we, I think we hit a little bit of a wall earlier in the season in terms of roundabout uh, um, uh, Harrogate and, and, and Carlisle where, you know, we weren't getting enough chances, I don't think, and, and looked like giving away goals at the back. So, you know, we just shuffle things around slightly and, and we do look as if we can get clean sheets, which is a base to go off always, but, but then that gives us a, the ability to go forward and, and, you know, get goals, create chances. So the, the, the balance is there in the performances at the moment and we have to keep working at it and, and, and while the, the league position is nice you know it's just over 100 points to play for and getting the team right and then you know setting it on a path through the winter is is, is a good thing and, and your early season you want to be able to do that particularly on the training ground in the games build up some confidence build up a way uh, make sure you have a you know a clear set of values and pattern that, that can see you through because it's you know once you start that period it, it, it can run on and similarly if you get it wrong in that period it can be difficult as well so you know set, set some foundations down for, for, for what we need to do and then and then work away and, and after that a league position will come. Unbeaten in the last five and four victories that's some brilliant momentum to take into our next match against Mansfield. It is good but you know you always then your next challenge is a, is a big one Mansfield you know much fancy to start of the season and and you know I was really really thinking and and still do think that they'll be up there you know I think they've they're a good club I think they've got a good they've got a good manager and I do think they'll be up there Mansfield 100% and and you know the tests don't get any easier they've uh, hit probably backwards for me in comparison to us but they've got some really good attacking options they have and you know one or two injury problems as well that which they'll get over and recover from um, whether that be, be this week or going forward so you know, one of the favourites definitely at the start of the year, 100%. And, and the, you know, the type of squad, as you say, and, and, and attracted some very good players to the club. And looking at Leighton Orient, Dan Happy was taken off in the last game. Uh, will he be all right for the coming fixture? Yeah, I think he will. He's been training this week and has, you know, has had a, a back problem that, that, that uh, just hampered him a little bit. But, you know, he's over it now and pushed pushed hard and and you know I expect him to be you know fully fit and available for uh, Saturday's game against Mansfield and elsewhere Paul Smith's back out on the grass is he making good progress he is yeah well you know I don't think it'll be this week I think that you know outside chance for Port Vale and that's where he is for Paul Smith maybe on the bench it's around about that time that he'll be fit anyway depending on how much training he does but he's progressing well uh, uh, very well it, it has been slow though and and um, you know taken a long time for him to get fit which has been uh, uh, frustrating for us.